Hey guys and welcome back to Blockhood. Let's get going with the next challenge, shall we? A knowledge economy. Description. What will happen with our cities without education? Knowledge is a driving market for countries and cities. Knowledge will lead to innovation and invention. Objective? Obtain 10 knowledge. Difficulty? Easy peasy. And Blockhood, you need, uh, block, blockhood. blockhood, you need knowledge to support blocks like offices where higher education is crucial. With this challenge, you must produce at least 10 units of knowledge. Good luck. Right, let's have a check to see exactly what we need. We need schools. Schools for Knoll age. We need labor and youth. So we get youth from large flats, but we get labor from small flats. Okay, so our, oh, we can place an algae farm. So what we really need is one large flat gives us three labour. One labour can supply ten youths. And we can have ten youths from a couple of large flats. So ten youth from three large flats with uh, with bonuses. And that'll output ten knowledge. Okay, so what I need is I will need one. No, I don't, I don't want to put it on top of it. One, two, three. Let's go here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need trees Okay um, Let's get our analysis up right now We'll press K So we need water and electricity so first things first, let's grab a water tower and plonk it in here. Okay, we are at one point, uh, yeah, one and a half water that we're missing now. So it looks like we're going to need another one of these. Okay, we've got enough water now, we need electricity. So we're missing exactly two electricity. We're going to shove one here. I thought that was two electricity. What are you? Are you one every 20? Okay. So you're not two, you're only one electricity. Okay, now we're short of one leisure. Okay, which I'm going to shove right here. Alright, we've got plenty of leisure, we just need money now. So you have zero access, but that's fine. So what we need is money, so I'm going to put in an office here. Okay, and that will output five monies. We need half our monies, but we need some electricity as well. Okay, and then if we get one more monies, they don't actually have access. Uh oh, we're we're, we're finished. Okay. Uh, welcome to your second challenge. This level. Yeah, congratulations! Your neighborhood your neighborhood now has knowledge. Um, give me a second here. Oh, we had stairs as well. Oh, and elevators, so we could have done a lot of stuff. Oh, and playgrounds! Outputs community and leisure. Oh, we we kind of kind of worked with what we had, and it, it worked out well for us. Let's get the access to them all. There we go. So let's actually have a look at our little hood. There we go. We're a bit a bit cramped, but otherwise pretty good. 
that was uh that was a relatively quick one compared to the the prior one the the water one next challenge maybe i just took too too long about the water money's just another resource resource and block could but certainly an important one take out your tycoon suit and get the most profit possible obtain 500 buckaroos difficulty easy money's another critical resource to maintain the well-being of your neighborhood with this challenge you must produce 500 monies Right, we've currently got 150. To generate monies, we've got a cafe, which is four consumers, one labor, and two bread. Okay, so we need to output bread. Factories output money, sickness, and inorganic waste. Alright. And that's obviously. Oh, a corner flat. It's a large flat with two sets of windows. Enjoy the view. Two labour and two youth. Okay, so if we want if we want to get some youth and labour, then we can use that, but we won't get any consumers out of it. Just got our regular trees. We've got a sitting area. Takes one consumer, one tourist, and output six monies. And we've got elevators. Alright, so it looks like our, our main Money situation is going to be coming from some retail shop ease. So what gives the most consumers? Right, so we're looking at large flats for consumers. And small flats for labour still. We're not really angling after youth. We can't get bread for the, the input. There's nothing we've got actually outputs bread. So let's grab... Right, how much labour do we need for a shop? One shop is one labour, so each one of these can supply three shops. Alright, let's... We can't actually pause the game, pause the game. Right, so let's put you there. So you can supply three shops. So I want... One, uh, two, and three. Okay, and then we need consumers. So each each shop takes six consumers. Each one of these produces five. So three sixes is 18. So I'm going to need four of these guys. Three and four. I did not want to place that on top there. Uh, can I? Oh, sorry, it's D. Uh, is, it, is it D or is it delete? I can't remember. Oh, it's just the the three key. Um, I need a large flat to go. Right in the middle. I forget the. There we go. Right there. Thank you. And we need to... Plunk in some trees here. So we need... Some more leisure and some more fresh air. So we shove in some dense trees, they'll create... Uh, a bit more fresh air, but less leisure. And we'll need water towers. Okay. I don't know where our water is at. But it seems to have sorted itself. Yeah, it's at zero. Alright, now we need some electricity. Free electricity, and we need a little bit more le uh, leisure. But as far as I remember, there was some... Oh, okay. There wasn't any leisure there. Oh! Silly thing. Frickin' heck!
So apparently, will it? I don't know. Will it redo itself? It seems like it's all got access. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. So how do I how do I rebuild this? Do I have to delete it and and rebuild it all? That was three shops, so we can shove all of them back. Right, they all definitely had, uh, not that, access. Let's rotate all of them. Right, you're just, uh, sorry, let's inspect these. Flat, flat. Oh, it's just, it's not telling me what ones are large flats and what ones weren't. So that was large, large, regular. Large, large. Okay, so the regular one was in that corner. And the rest of them were large. Alright. Small flat. Large. Okay. And you guys don't have access at all. Okay, that gives access, and that gives access, but this one doesn't have access, so shove that there. Now you've got access, and now I just need to demolish those and stick trees in the way. So does this tree not have access to stuff? Can I shove just another tree in here? Yeah, there we go. That gives it access. And there's only water that we're missing. I mean, I could... Um... No, it looks like we actually need... We need the leisure from having that, but we could also do with the, the extra water, obviously. Okay. Well, that looks good. I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm rather impressed with that one. We need... How's our money going? Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So, we've got an extra half a labour. Extra 4.8 consumers, which is crazy. So, all we really need, actually, is... Let's remove that and that. Shove another tree there. And a water thing there. Ah, oh, still half a labour. Yeah, I'm trying to get that up to a bit more labour than what's currently got. I mean, we should be able to... Corner flat gives some labour and, uh, and some youth. And youth's not really needed. I much prefer three labour and the two consumers again. So what if we... Shove the flat there. It's using just a, just a touch more electricity, actually. Which, I mean, that's, that's pretty easy to sort. Okay, now we've got an extra two labour. Okay, if we do that. Then we can have another 
Two shops. There we are. And... There we go, just a corridor there. Okay, we're starting to build up. We are missing out on some consumers, but... It's going down so slowly that I don't think I really need to worry about it. And we're gaining... One, uh, one money per second. It's 500 money that we needed to, to work through. So... I don't know, maybe we're better off having like a instead of that one there maybe we're just better off having like a bank of oh that can't go on top of there because there's a tree there, okay. I'm with you. Ah, okay, so we've got nothing that we can really... Because, okay. That's fine. We shove that there. Twist you around and have a... Can I have a cord? Oh, I can't. So we can't actually have that there. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Just because of the, the way that we've built down here. Hmm. Is it possible to build trees? Yeah, so we can build trees on the next level up. Ah, okay, that's interesting. That's going to... That's going to provide us with quite a few interesting uh, building choices. But as it stands now, we're earning a decent chunk of change. We could do with some more consumers, but it's not really going to work for us. Because we, yeah, I'll need to, like, demolish that and lift it up a level, etc. So we could have had just banks of shops on the bottom. And then a load of this stuff, but then with that you're trying to you're trying to work out a way to get leisure and fresh air out of not a lot. Cactuses, bamboo, flower gardens, just some soil. Some blocks don't need it. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, some of the some of the things are great. Alright, so what's the... let's... Production data. Yeah, looks like everything's producing alright. See how structure is holding? Blooming structure... Good structure, white is weak. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... How's this gonna work then? If I want to to make any more shops or anything, we're gonna to need to right. Let's demolish that. Now what we can do is we can put another uh, that's not what I wanted. We can have another shop down here. All right. Okay, we could do that. Then I'm going to need to remove that and have maybe just another flat in here. I need to see access data. I should have a flat in there. Is it possible to get that? No, there's no way to get that to have access because of where it is. 
So would we need to put a, a corridor in there? So we could have a corridor up here. But apparently you don't get access with corridors either. Um, so what could we put in there? Put like a cafe maybe? But that, that wouldn't get access. Ah, we've done the challenge anyway. Right. Congratulations, you've completed challenge 3 and unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this episode so do remember if you enjoyed this episode to drop a like down below and to subscribe if you want to see more in the future but I've been CJ, you've been awesome and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.